We have cryptid. Ten cryptids caught on camera by Mr. Creeps 3. Cryptids are creatures that are only known to exist anecdotally, but have not yet been proven to exist. The list of- Does this count as ridiculous field of expertise? <sighs> Let me think. Because the main paranormal society, I mean, it's not like- It's not like they were just saying it's definitely ghosts. They didn't call themselves like ghost experts. It seems like they're maybe a skeptic group because they were testing stuff. I could be wrong, though. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should that count? I don't know. The cryptids continues to grow over time, but some, such as Bigfoot or the Mothman, have cemented themselves in legends forever. Today, we'll be looking at... Counts? Okay, we'll count it then. There we go. Some of these strangest funny videos. about the two Daddy of Sume, I don't really think there's any point in doing the bingo today. This isn't really conspiracies or stuff like that. No one's really gonna get any spots, or if they don't do it won't be enough to fill stuff. Probably not, but try it anyway. If we don't, like I said, by the end of this, I'll gift a random sub if no one gets bingo. Videos in the internet that have managed to catch a glimpse of something uniquely out of the ordinary. There's Let's nothing dive funny in. about the tools of capitalism. Number ten. Couldn't make paranormal videos, First your voice isn't the right is kind of annoying. What is described as a weird monster, stalking a moose at the edge of the forest in Quebec, Canada. On the left of the screen, you can clearly see a lanky looking and deathly pale creature or being that appears to be observing the grazing moose from a distance. Although the camera quality is quite poor, it has been estimated that the creature is around 6 to 7 feet tall and also appears to be completely faceless. Which would <laughs> what do you mean faceless? You, it's a blob. What? What? What's the? Is this like a 360p video? You can't see any details. Just because you can't see details doesn't mean it exi doesn't exist. Like saying this thing has no face would be like filming a person from far away with this quality camera and not being able to distinguish any features and then saying, oh, they must not have a face. Even if this was some kind of cryptid, which it's not. <laughs> saying it doesn't have a face because you can't distinguish it in this weird blurry video is really stupid and makes no sense. Can they be a terrifyingly unique characteristic? What may be even more terrifying is the prospect that this creature may be stalking a moose as its prey. Moose are high up on the list of animals that you never want to mess with. So the thought of this unknown creature taking one down is as impressive as it is intimidating. Number 9 Next up, we've got some decent quality home security footage that has many people spooked after it managed to make the local news station for how uniquely creepy it is. Recorded in Clovis, New Mexico. It's a person in a reflective jacket running through the parking lot. You can't see the other parts of their body because only the jacket is luminescent, is reflective. Go back in 2017. This footage may be more ghostly in nature than the other entries on our list. What appears to be a humanoid figure crosses the frame with a very apparition-like form. There's nothing funny about the The owners of, of the capitalism. home believe that this is a ghost. But the jury is out on what was actually recorded that night. There <laughs> appears to be a trailing mist wherever the figure walks, and the transparency of the unknown object. I think that just has to do with the poor quality of the camera. Next, uh, we have... <laughs> I don't like to make fun of that, of the people who are actually providing the content. That's not nice. <laughs> ...changed throughout the short clip. Apparently the property this was recorded on There's used to have funny about the tools of capitalism. Uh, the Stellar Sea Cow, it's probably a bug. I work for a security company and have customers send me the security videos to prove their houses are haunted. <laughs> oh god, people are ridiculous. A much older home that was believed to be haunted. It was torn- The haunted parking lot! Donna completely rebuilt after sitting vacant for too long. Like, it's literally a person with a jacket that's reflective, right? Like, it's clear, even with the poor quality video, that's what it is. 
Which leads you There's to wonder if this ghostly the apparition the is merely a... This counts as not understanding how cameras work? I agree. If you have... Doesn't understand how... there That's not how cameras work. Or whatever. There we go. Someone doesn't understand how cameras work. There's nothing funny about the tools of capitalism. Something more. Catalina Gearbox with $3. Right. Why is it that all ghosts are captured on shitty number. cameras? Because good cameras show you that the thing, whatever it is, definitely isn't a ghost. Right. We have a video that That's made right. waves Capitalism on pretty much every again. social media site and landed itself in the news multiple times back in mid-2019. This is a kid. This is a weird child, but it's a child nonetheless. Recorded on a home security camera and allows you It looks like a kid with underwear on their head walking funny. <laughs> uh, suburbanite spy, thank you for following. Welcome to the stream. Junta, Colorado. This clip features an incredibly strange creature or person walking. It's a child! <laughs> While the entire thing may be funny to some, due to the seemingly loose and goofy nature of the video subject, a lot of people are terrified of what this creature could possibly be. Cons I mean, I'm terrified of children too. I don't want them around me. Considering it looks entirely alien. One of the leading theories is that it's just a very scrawny, goofy child just wearing underwear on their head. As yeah, see, that's what I said. It's what it looks like. Nothing funny about the tools of capitalism. Tucker White 94, how is the entry higher than the parking lot ghost is less believable than the parking lot ghost? How is the entity? How is it the entry higher than the parking lot ghost is? Oh, I There's got. Oh, how is the entry the higher capitalism. than the parking lot ghost less believable than the parking lot ghost? Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty arbitrary. Um, Daddy Suman with a bit. It looks like a child with some kind of deformity that makes them very lanky, thin. I don't even think it's that. I think it's just the camera not picking up the entirety of the the kid's like leg and arm and stuff on the driveway. While this strange description certainly fits the bill, local residents all have an alibi for where their children were during the time. <laughs> it's probably the kid of the person who owns the house, and they had them go out to make this video. It's possible at some point the kid actually did walk outside. They looked on the camera and went, oh, that looks creepy, that's weird. And they went, okay, we're going to stage a video that makes you look like a weird spooky thing. Put this on your head and go walk outside funny. And the kid did it. And then they went inside and they went, okay, we're going to upload this video to the internet to get, to get that sweet, sweet viral video cache. And they did. Time this was filmed. But if it wasn't a child. Basically every thing like this every single video of, of like supposed captured cryptids or ghosts or anything like that entirely relies on the concept that no one ever lies <laughs> which is just objectively untrue what could it have been cryptid enthusiasts have speculated that it could be an alien or even an elf as its appearance an elf we are we believing elves exist now it's quite similar to elves that we have characterized in modern pop culture we may never know what the true identity of this driveway dancer is but let me know your best guess number seven our next clip was uploaded to facebook at the beginning of 2018 and was recorded in mexicali mexico it features footage from a moving vehicle that is capturing an incredibly strange humanoid looking object seemingly flying in the sky. This one has myself and many others on the internet at a loss. Leading theories are that someone launched a human looking helium balloon into the sky, but no one has been able to confirm that speculation. <laughs> so it must be an alien or someone who can fly. Yeah, it's, it's probably a human shaped helium thing. I find this video pretty unnerving, and it looks like something straight out of a sci-fi film. It looks like the rapture came early for this guy. <laughs> it's either a balloon or someone added it in in post. I have no idea. Someone called, uh, what, what does he call himself? Captain Disillusion? Someone call Captain Disillusion. Have you guys seen Captain Disillusion? He does great debunkings. Number six. 
He's like a he's a special effects guy. There's nothing um, funny about the tools that who basically capitalism. goes through viral videos like that and shows how they did it and how they faked it using visual effects. It's very cool. Aliens on Bingo. Oh yeah, that counts for aliens for sure. Tucker White 94. Why is it videos like the these are either capitalism. Excuse me, shot on cameras that are stationary and grainy or clear but shaky as F. Well, because that's you it, it it's survivorship bias because if there was clear footage it would There's show it's not supernatural or creepy daddy sume oh my god this guy's voice is annoying <laughs> his voice trailing upwards after every word is just bugging me can we not make fun of the, the people who are like cataloging these videos for us please like i get it but like they put this video together and we're watching it so it does serve a purpose thank you i appreciate it <laughs> You may have noticed that most of the videos revolving around cryptids or other unknown creatures tend to be pretty low quality most of the time. Well, this next video may be the breath of fresh- I, Like, I get it if the person who's making the video is like a dick or something, but this person isn't. They're just a person who likes cryptids and they're putting videos together. Like, you don't have to like them personally, but let's not be mean for no reason. ...share that you're looking for, as the quality on this one is second to none. We begin with a man recording underneath his vehicle after he heard some strange noises in the general vicinity. <laughs> so he crawled under his vehicle? What comes next is nothing short of incredible. That's not a thing normal people do. Like you don't go, ooh, there's a weird noise, I better crawl under my car. A small, bipedal creature that is clearly not <laughs> human. That's an obvious fake. That's a that's a C CG added in post thing for sure. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> incredible. A small bipedal creep. <laughs> Look at the model. <laughs> this is a hundred percent real, guys. Trust me. The lighting on this is exactly how it would look. That doesn't look fake There's at all. Funny about the tools is it wrong? The more interested in his terrible parking, you're more interested in his terrible parking job than the alien caught on camera. <laughs> uh, Naruto run. <laughs> There's nothing funny about the tools of capitalism. <laughs> I'm gonna say that counts as Anna might die of laughter. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. That's funny. That is clearly not human uh, runs across the frame. The man recording is understandably shocked, but he manages to capture another glimpse of the creature crawling in. The <laughs> Did you see that? Look at it. Understandably shocked, but he manages to capture another glimpse of the creature. Ooh. <laughs> What was that show from the the early 2000s or the 90s and they all lived in a computer? It was called Reboot or something. <laughs> the model in this reminds me of that a little bit. <laughs> Look at the physics on how it crawls under the car. Just to capture another glimpse of the creature crawling <laughs> the nearby vehicle to hide. Clearly shaken by the terrifying situation. The man recording nopes out of there quickly, having already caught the unknown beast on tape. I have absolutely no idea what the creature in this clip is. It's CG. Come on, dude. No, this one isn't even like a good fake. But whatever it may be, I hope I don't run across it the next time I'm heading. <laughs> I, I have a feeling like. And I wouldn't even know how to search this, but you know, there, there are places where if you're like doing visual effects or you're making a game or whatever, there are marketplaces where you can buy pre-made assets. I have a feeling that this thing is on a pre-made asset website or asset website somewhere. <laughs> I don't know how to find it, but it definitely looks like, I don't know, generic alien. 
It doesn't even look like this is the scale that they expected it to be in when they modeled this. It looks like it's supposed to be like a humanoid sized alien, but they just decided to make it small in the video. <laughs> Put it in my car. Number five. Halfway through our list, we're taking a look at what could potentially be a classic cryptid, the Loch Ness Monster. Or at least a creature that is very similar in origin. Funny about the tools of Tucker White, 24, or 94. Seriously, this video of the kid with underwear on his head was more convincing than this one. At least I knew the kid was there. I agree. As this was filmed in Ireland, whereas the Loch Ness Monster itself would be in Scotland, the very strange black mass glides across the water, indicating that there is something incredibly large underneath the surface. The trouble in recording creatures like the Loch I think it, that that couldn't be another added in post thing because the shake almost looks like digital shake to me. It doesn't look like natural camera shake. It looks like it was maybe added in post. I could be wrong though. The biggest monster is that they are submerged almost all the time. Because like if, if, if you've seen it or used like digital camera shaking, then there is, you can you can spot it and it, to me it looks a little bit like digital camera shake and not like natural camera shake but i could be wrong tucker white 94 seriously the vid of the kid with the underwear oh i already read that one sorry so getting any either that or it's yeah a whale or something i have no idea but this sort of recording above water is incredibly rare and should be inspected carefully regardless of this creature's true identity there is no doubt that this is incredibly large for a freshwater aquatic creature. And it's certainly strange that it is brushing the surface like this. Cause like, if it's this big and it's moving, there's a trail right behind it, but like none of the water around its immediate vicinity is being affected by it. You know what I mean? Like there's it doesn't look like it's actually capitalism. moving through the water. It looks like they digitally added it later and added in this trail, but they can't like affect all the water realistically how it would in real life. So they just kind of went, eh, no one will notice. Hopefully we can get more videos with a bit higher resolution when it comes to things like that. It's clearly a whale. Maybe, I have no idea. Yes. Because aquatic- No wake. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Wake. Cryptids are some of the most fascinating in my own opinion. Number four. At number four, we have a creature that looks so incredibly strange it's almost funny. This crow, Gorilla Hybrid, was filmed in Japan and uploaded to Twitter on June 20th, 2019. There's nothing funny about this clip went viral, amassing well over 100,000 retweets. The cre Could be a digitally added whale, but a whale nonetheless, sure. <laughs> Is very imposing. Hey, what, you don't believe in swole crow? How dare you? As it flexes on everyone, walking by and stares down anyone that ventures on <laughs> It is speculated to be a crow that is simply sunning itself and hiding its legs on the inside of its downward facing wings. Even if that's all there is to it, it does make you- That's a robot? <laughs> you wonder about other potential cross species hybrids or chimera that could be lurking out there. Maybe. I don't know specifically what it is, but it's definitely not an actual, like, swole crow. Maybe not something as- <laughs> Harambe didn't die, he There's was merged with this crow. <laughs> it's from an old game, hold on. Swole crow lives. Is there- does it show up in the trailer, or- Impossible creatures. So it's like a game that combines different creatures. <laughs> what a weird game. I don't even understand what the what the gameplay loop of this is. Swole Crow lives. <laughs> As ridiculous as a Corolla, but I suppose only time will tell. Catalina Gearbox with three bucks. Someone called Kirk Number Cameron, three. we found Crow Ape. <laughs> Next up is a man that just wanted to record his cute bunnies, but got a whole lot more than he bargained for. <laughs> that sentence is just funny to me. Uploaded to YouTube all the way back in 2009. 
This clip starts out innocently enough. A few moments in, the man mentions hearing something strange outside and goes to investigate with his camera already at his disposal. He checks outside and when he turns on the outdoor light, he notices something strange crouching in the yard. When he knocks on the window, the creature appears to get spooked and it takes off running. He pursues it. Why? Why would you go outside and pursue the creepy thing in your yard? What? Hoping to get more footage of the alien looking creature. At one point in the clip, it has been mentioned you can see these strange beings jump off a fence if you look closely enough. But it is very hard to tell with the mixture of grainy quality and darkness. If anything, this video certainly does a good job at creeping me out. Several different attempts have been made to identify the creature in the footage, but nothing conclusive has been determined. Some cryptid believers say that it may be an incredibly rare glimpse at a Mothman, but I'm not sure if I see that angle of it personally. Let me know what you think. There's nothing funny about the tools of capitalism. This person shouldn't be giving his rabbits or the orange part of a carrot. The sugar content is too high and it's bad for them. <laughs> I think that's the important thing to learn from that video. No. So wait, do carrots only eat the green part of a carrot? That's of weird. Bugs Bunny lied to me. Tucker White 94 these are getting less and less convincing with each entry. This guy doesn't understand the concept of a top 10 list. Yeah. I, I have to agree, the earlier ones were more convincing, but, you know, what are you going to do? Number two. There's nothing Coming funny in about at our penultimate spot in the list. Why can't people leave elves alone? They're camera shy. <laughs> is a terrifying video uploaded in 2017 by Richard Grebenek to his personal YouTube channel. He's not sure what he's managed to record simply calling whatever it is an evil creature. After seeing these same- It's a little judgy, but okay. Being in his yard earlier in the week, Richard set up his iPad in the window in order to hopefully capture another glimpse of whatever this strange figure is, and he hit a gold mine with this video. Through a screen, of course, because that's the best way to get a very clear shot at the thing. Capturing over six minutes of raw footage of the creature, it is very apparent from the beginning that this is not something you would ordinarily see in your backyard. Having a half-human, half-alien-like shape. This one's creepy. Again, I'm not convinced or anything, but in terms of, like, executing a viral, like, look at this creepy thing I saw video, this one's pretty good. You gotta keep things vague, but it's gotta be enough that you can kinda see it, but it can't look CGI-y. I don't know. This one's a pretty good one. Babe. It is difficult to pinpoint what this could potentially be. Some have speculated that this could be a skinwalker. Others say that it could be a wendigo. Subtlety? Whatever yeah, it is about subtlety. Instead of having, you know, CGI Dobby running through a parking lot. <laughs> very clearly looking fake. A little thing in the background. And I, I make fun of the screen, but like, yeah, put the screen there. That's a good thing to do for this video because it further obscures what's going on, but you can still see a shape and it's doing stuff like, uh, all right. Well executed in terms of this kind of thing. What's supposed to be the cryptid in this video? Oh, I don't know. True identity of this creature is. I hope I never come across one in my lifetime. Don't say their names. Whose names? What are you talking about? <laughs> Number 1 At the top spot on our list is a 48 second video from 2013 where two friends were exploring the Overbrook Insane Asylum in Essex The creatures? What, like Mothman? Or the Wendigo? You're not supposed to say their name or something? County, New Jersey What begins as a video of simply logging their experience in the strange abandoned building quickly devolves into something straight out of a horror movie After hearing a loud screech the do it's okay, I think There's Mothman is in New Jersey. I don't think Mothman's gonna <laughs> go from Jersey to Michigan just to get at me. They're asking you to point out what the thing in the last video was, where it was. A lot of people can't tell. Oh, I don't know. I don't think they were being specific about what they thought it was. I'm not sure. You noticed an incredibly terrifying and mysterious creature crawling right towards them on all fours. After seeing the beings go towards them, they understandably ran out of the building. The video uploader described it as a four-legged freak. 
Seven. Oh, Jersey Devil is Jersey. Where's Mothman? Mothman. Oh, Mothman is in the Appalachian Mountains. Appalachian. Oh, that's even further away. They're definitely not going to come get me. How dare you? Mothman is... Okay, yeah, I get it. <laughs> it was the white thing behind the chair on the right side of the screen. You could see the white thing moving. Yeah. There's nothing funny yeah. about the Oh, were people not able to see that? Sorry, I could see it pretty clearly. So, Or, you know, as clearly as you're supposed to be able to see it. Years later, this creature has not been... Does Hannah know of the Michigan melon heads? No, I'm not familiar. Identified. Many have speculated their own theories. Some say it's a creature known as the Rake, while others claim it's an old asylum patient that never got the memo to leave the grounds. Whatever it may be, I can only wonder if it's still inside the asylum all these years later. Looks kind of fake to me. I think that's a CGI thing they added. Which is weird, because you wouldn't even have to. I think you could just get your friend to go down far enough and have There's it be dark and have him kind of come at you on all fours, but I don't know. Or is it a person crawling on the ground? Whether you're a believer or a skeptic, cryptids are certainly an interesting topic and influence a yeah. large portion of the horror genre. I only wish that there are more videos available when it came to these unknown beings. But a lot of the current information online is supported by photo evidence as opposed to video. <laughs> that being said, make sure you keep your phone at the ready, so you can be the person to film the next cryptid caught on camera.